I want to share a story with you about a very unhappy customer or potential unhappy customer, depending on how you look at this. I'm Ron Ramsey, I'm a DYB coach, also painting contractor here in Massachusetts. And I tell you I'm a painting contractor because I live this the same as you do. Anyways, here's our disgruntled customer. Well, months and months ago, I went out to look at this project. It needed a lot of wood repairs, an exterior of a house, actually a contemporary home. Looked at it, we talked about what needed to be done, on and on and on. We had to research some materials, some of it had to be milled down um, and, and such. So the homeowner was, was taking care of the woodwork, but I was taking care of a lot of other things. Didn't know what process, I mean what product we wanted to actually use on the house. So we couldn't actually do it on the spot. So we got the proposal out to him via email, had a lot of follow-up conversations, uh, emails, follow-up, many of them, I, I, about three of them. Uh, and we said, yeah, maybe around June, June 1st would work for him. That would be great. So June 1st came and went. And I get a very angry phone call uh, saying, where are you guys? And I said, what do you mean? Because I had talked to him about a month before and uh, once again mentioned about a signed contract and a deposit to get him on the schedule. So he never sent that signed contract contract nor did he send a deposit and we were only asking for $500 uh, our process is a $500 deposit and then additional money on day one if it's a multi-day job but anyway so he didn't get put on the schedule because it didn't follow the process uh, if we didn't have a process on this as our company grows we can't remember everything we can't remember everything we say to every customer no matter if we write it down uh, and then if you've all had that customer that you went to to call on a Friday or you got to go drop ladders off for a Monday start and then the customer says oh I changed my mind well they had no skin in the game and there wasn't any process to actually schedule them it was all up here I've been there I've done that for many many years and a lot of times I'm running around just trying to keep these guys busy because one of the customers decided a no instead of a yes at the last minute so, or maybe something else came up with the customer. Maybe they, they, they had an unexpected expense and you now are on the second. You weren't as important you were a week or two ago. So anyways, so this is our process. Now, number one is going to eliminate the rest of the process if it actually happens. So you got to do your a site visit. You got to do your site visit, visit the family and do all your, all your stuff there. You got to write the proposal. You got to get a signed contract of acceptance and you got to pick up your deposit. When that happens, if you can do this the most they're excited that you're there they're looking for that proposal if you can sign it you've, you've gotten rid of all this bottom stuff here and you have something on your schedule and just save yourself a ton of time so anyways if that happens we bring them right over here to my schedule and that's uh just the month of september uh somewhat so that's number one so all right so that number one doesn't happen we're going to start on our uh, process so number one in our process so we're going to send the proposal and the contract, which is all in one and ours. We use Estimate Rocket for our, our estimating software. Uh, and then we're going to follow up with a phone call and an email. Ask and answer any questions. To see, We're going to ask if they have any questions if they haven't dropped it in the mail. Uh, most times that we do have homeowners that, that, that very uh, proactive, ask the questions, thank us. Uh, but follow up, follow up, follow up. That's the big key. So anyways, we follow up. Then we receive, then we receive the signed contract as well as a $500 deposit. We ask for $500. You can ask for whatever you want. To get on our schedule, it costs you $500, which is part of the, uh, the amount that we propose. So once we receive the signed contract and the deposit, it then goes to the schedule. The only two arrows that will put you on the schedule, if you sign it when we show up to give the proposal, or if we actually receive it in the mail with a deposit. If we don't get both of those, it will never make Mr. Calendar or Mrs. Calendar. So if we receive a signed contract with no check, that happens. We then follow up and it happens. People forget to put the check in. They figured we'll get it to you later on. We just wanted you to get your signed contract. Well, when that happens, we have to make a phone call. We have to send an email or both or sometimes multiple times. So remember, the only the process to get on our schedule is sign contract and deposit. People will do it. You'll say, no, I don't want to do it. I, I've been there. I said, no, I don't want to bother them. 
you know, I'll collect it. I don't need the money ahead of time. Get these on your contract. You will fill up your summer. You won't have any cancellations. And if, then if you do have a cancellation, depending on what your contract says, you can either return the money or you can schedule them at a later date. Most people will do either one. Uh, they'll schedule at a later date. Uh, it, but if they don't have any skin in the game, which is the deposit, uh, you very likely you probably never hear from them again because all of a sudden someone's brother's going to do it for a couple dollars less than you are. So anyways, that's our process. So and then if that doesn't happen, we follow up. We then follow up some more. We follow up some more. We follow up some more. And we keep following up on and on and on. And there's different ways that you can follow up. You could have a uh, email reminder. Um, you could actually pick up the phone, maybe put it in your calendar, and you you, you schedule out a, a morning jam session, afternoon, evening jam session, to call 10 or 15 customers in a row. Many of them will go to voicemail, but many of them is life is just as busy as you. And uh, they if they want their house painted or whatever the project you're bidding on, they are going to uh, gladly accept the phone call to give them the reminder. Uh, especially if it's been on their to-do list and they haven't done it. So processes are important. Uh, you want to put processes in anything you want, uh, can. Uh, just imagine for you to step away from that business, your business, someone is going to have to be able to do each one of the uh, jobs that you are doing right now. Uh, is it scheduling jobs? If you have this written down, much neater than this, uh, someone could open your mail, find get the contracts and then schedule accordingly uh, very very basic we even have in our crm which is pipeline deals we have processes to actually enter a new person and what we need to do from that point on so get yourself ready that you can actually step away from your business maybe a three you'll end up working a three-day week maybe you'll be selling your business you'll have a folder full of processes which will make your business much more valuable to the next person. Or maybe you have an administrative assistant who's taking care of your business in the office. Uh, what happens when that person is no longer working for you? They step away. Maybe, unfortunately, they, they don't work for you anymore, whatever the circumstances. Someone else is going to have to do that. Either you're going to have to sit down and teach that person every single thing, or if you have a book of processes you can actually hand off, that would be a great a great tool for your business. So anyways, I'm Ron Ramsen. I'm a DYB coach. You can find me at ron at dybcoach.com. That's ron at dybcoach.com. More about DYB is joindyb.com. Send me a message on Facebook. I'd love to chat with you. Uh, we can always exchange cell phone numbers and we can chat that way too if it's easier. Uh, any questions, please send them my way. Comment on here. And I'm glad to help you and hopefully if you like working in the bucket maybe this can ease some of the pain and take some something off your plate if you are out of the bucket and you have administrative administrative help processes our way to go so anyways thanks for listening and uh, we'll talk to you soon bye